Hey everybody, my name is Dana Moore and today we're going to talk about soothing your body with essential oils. And this is an important topic right now and something you're probably focused on a little bit more is ways to reduce stress in your muscles, maybe ways to uh, reduce stress in your emotions and relax your emotions and also just stay relaxed throughout your day. Um, and if you're like me, you probably have children at home now, so you're maybe adjusting and having to pivot. And so there's just a lot of adjustment taking place, and I'm not immune to any of it, but I do have essential oils that are helpful. And I'm going to share with you some tips that I'm doing, that we're doing as a family, that are making this transition a little bit easier and are just helping us to adjust as we're all kind of, you know, learning new ways to support things and new ways to do our daily lives. So one of the first things I want to talk about is just relaxing muscles. And for me, that's that's kind of the main way that I carry stress. That's when, when stress hits and when things feel uncertain or, um, you know, I feel just overwhelmed, my body will carry stress. And so I get really tense in my shoulders. My jaw will carry some stress and I can just feel it. And that comes out in a physical way. Like there's some physical discomfort, but it comes out emotionally too. And I can feel like this tightness and kind of this locking up. And we don't want to feel that way. We don't want to live in a place of stress in any way, because when we are stressed out, it actually is a detriment to our health. It doesn't support a healthy life. And so if we can stay in a place that's peaceful and relaxed, it's good for our bodies. It supports us in a great way. So one of the things that I do and love to do is to take an Epsom salt bath or create an Epsom salt foot soak or even perhaps a shower. And so I say all that because I know not everyone is a, is a bather and loves to soak in a bath, but I like to soak in a bath. And so my tip for you is to take two cups of Epsom salt in a nice warm bath and soak for at least 15 minutes. And to maximize that, I love to add Aroma Touch essential oil. Aroma Touch is a beautiful blend. It's warming to the body. And it smells amazing. And so it brings a, the aromatic, you know, piece over me as well, but it mixes really well with Epsom salt. So I would just say use about three drops, no more, with two cups of Epsom salt. And if you don't love a bath, if you don't love a bath, that's okay. Plug your shower and put the same thing in the bottom of the shower and just take your time in the shower. Maybe that's a day where you um, take extra time to shave or something. So your feet are soaking in the Epsom salts and the essential oils as well. And you're benefiting from the aroma. Or you can just sit and soak your feet like in a basin. Either way, you're going to get the benefits of Epsom salts, which are calming and relaxing and amazing for de-stressing, but you're also going to get the benefits of essential oils as well. So that's one thing. Now, because I'm prone to stress, um, I do a couple extra things too. I like to use this jade roller, and you can kind of get these anywhere, even online, so just have it shipped to you. Um, but I like to, to roll it along my jawline where I get tense right through here. Um, because when I go to bed, I'll end up clenching because my muscles are so tight or I feel stressed out. And so one of the best oils that you can use for that, that I think you could use is balance. I think balance is a phenomenal oil for really just feeling grounded and secure. And I'll just take a few drops of balance and rub it, you know, just gently along my jawline and then just take time to slowly roll. And you can even breathe while you're doing this, but it's calming and relaxing and it works that oil in and you're getting the benefits of blue tansy and frankincense and black spruce, which are all actually great for your skin as well. And it can just become a ritual that you do to set yourself up for being calm before you go to sleep, which is a great time to recharge the body too. And then in addition, one of the best things you can do if you're just uncomfortable or maybe you're working out more right now in this season of life, um, put some deep blue on your muscles and then put a warm, wet compress on top. So often I just use even a heating pad and I'll put the deep blue or aroma touch is fine and then add the warm, wet compress on top and just let that sit and soothe for a while. And it's, it's more than just even the act of the oils and the compress. It's just being still and letting your body to heal and rest and recharge and to, to find that kind of a peace. So that's all about your muscles. When it comes to your emotions, um, in our home, we're pretty proactive with our emotions because I don't really like to, to handle emotional things after someone has flipped out or after we all feel undone. So one of the things that we're doing um, to combat stress is we're taking the adaptive soft gels. And I definitely made sure that we had enough for this whole period of being quarantined. 